In today's video, I will be revealing five signs that you may be a seer. A seer is someone who sees things before it happens. A seer is a prophet, but a prophet is not a seer. The difference between a prophet and a seer is that the seer sees things and the prophet hears things. One of the signs that you're a seer is that you receive consistent visual revelation. These visions may include dreams, night visions, waking visions, trances, or mental images when praying or prophesying to people. The scripture in Acts 2 verse 17 declares, In the last days I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your young men will see visions, and your old men will dream dreams. The second sign that you're a seer is that you possess a very high level of sensitivity to both people and the environment around you. Seers walk in a stronger discernment gifting, and this manifests in their physical senses and in their emotions. These types of seers are also called feelers in some circles. They can sense what God is doing in people, regions, churches, and rooms through their feelings. They can also pick up on what the enemy is doing. The third sign that you may be a seer is God frequently shows you things before they happen. God does nothing without revealing it first to his servants, the prophets. He may show you the good to come if cities or nations turn to God. Or he may show you the bad stuff that may happen or is going to happen if they don't repent. Number four, you will see sin and demonic spirits on people. This is related to the discernment gift. You may come out of your prayer closet and go into a public space and see or feel everyone's sin and the spirit they have on them. Nothing is hidden from God, especially when under the anointing. Everything can be seen. Number five, you're always praying and fasting. The gift of prophecy often carries with it the burden of prayer and fasting. And this is evident in the example of prophet Daniel who fasted and prayed for 21 days, leading to angelic visions and an understanding of future events. It is important to note that every seer is an intercessor, but not every intercessor is a seer. Your inclination towards prayer and fasting is a result of understanding that when God reveals something to you, it is for the purpose of redemption. You have to recognize that God's purpose in revealing things to you is to bring about transformation. And there you have it, the five signs that you may be a seer.